<laughs> oh my goodness. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. It's the magical run. It's too magical. <laughs> I've been pushing my luck even more and more and more each game. Like, it's like, look like, oh, now I'm totally lost. Now I must be totally lost. There's no way he comes back from this. I literally hang mate. I literally hang mate for multiple moves. And we still get away with it. I don't know, like, like how close am I going to come? Ten, so, the goal nine, here, eight, seven, the goal here six, will be a five, perfect arena. 100% berserk rate and 100% win rate. One, and we'll, zero. See if, we'll see if I can pull it off. I've come very, very close, but I've never, I've never quite do it. So, Sleepyhead 4, whose rating is provisional, berserk me back. You berserk me back, okay. We'll get a, it's not a Von Popiel, oh, he got a French. They got cranked. No, we'll make it a Von Pop Peel. We got a Gambit. We've got a Gambit against Sleepyhead 4. Let's get those Gambit glasses on. Okay, we got hit with C5. It was a quick C5. Okay, D5. So takes. I'll swap here and then no Knight takes over there. <clears throat> okay, bishop out. Can I put or no? Let's go check. And now I want to take this and force F takes. All right, I don't want just a, a, a nice bishop recapture there. So he goes there. This is what I wanted. Now I got takes, forcing F takes. So okay, we've generated a little bit of compensation for our pawn. Just a little bit. And bishop back because so we're gonna put some pressure along this diagonal. Feeling good about about maybe where my compensation's at. Mm, okay, yeah, maybe I'll make that trade. Queen e2, target this pawn. Let's castle out of here. <laughs> nice. Is the Vienna a good gambit? Is the Vienna a gambit? Not only is it not a good gambit, it's not a gambit. Unless, unless I'm confusing it with something else. What if I take and allow this? It seems completely unnecessary, though. I could allow it. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. All right, we're gonna allow this capture there. And just go king f2, d6. I was thinking about that, but then just queen takes d6 at the time, right? Are you doing PD, PDY rage and only one crazy dude? Good to see y'all. Okay, so we've made this pretty crazy because his king's still in the center and so is mine. But, but my rooks can come out much quicker than my opponents. Metal eagle, all my friends are here. So, uh, we have a discovery. Let's move this bishop anywhere. I could go here, but then castles? Get away with that? Okay, yeah, let's take it. Check. Where are you going to run away to? Here? Maybe he actually gets away with that. Mm. Mm. For whatever reason, I thought I had a better follow-up than I actually do. Alright. But yeah, he just now develops and it's probably okay. And has an extra pawn, but I don't know, maybe we still have some stuff. Bring this out. Check. <coughs> Excuse me. Play King's Gambit? Yeah, I'll play King's Gambit. <laughs> Gambit Wise? Great username. Is this an hourly blitz arena? It is. It is. Alright, here. I'd love to take G7. Don't blunder back rank, but we have that controlled many times. Right, I'll just fortify that even more. Maybe queen g6. 
this a good pin? Did he just walk right into a pin? I think maybe. Maybe we just take that knight. Yeah, okay. We're winning. We just won the queen. We won a queen. Boom. Eat all the stuff. Lots of checks. Let's get these pawns going. Go pawns, go. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Yes! 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 Let's go! Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Amber Wise, I appreciate the compliment. Thank you, thank you, yeah. I like... I don't know. I mean, I play online to have fun, right? So, so we gotta go for it. You gotta go for it. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we got him. We got some requests in the chat. Rook Gambit? Is that just like generically I sacrifice a rook? And King's Gambit. We'll play King's Gambit. I'll play E4 next time I'm white. See if see if we can get that on the board. But we are on track for a perfect arena. 100 percent berserk rate. 100 percent win rate. Alright, E4. Alright. I can play Bush Gas, but I want to try out my new Elephant Gambit. I want to try out the Elephant Gambit. I've been, I've been working on some stuff. Oh, it got declined. It got declined. He declined my Gambit. Can't put these on. Guys, this is the saddest thing that's ever happened to anyone. <laughs> Can I analyze viewers over the board games? Um. Okay, maybe, maybe. Maybe you can send me a PGN. Okay, wait, let's not blunder this. Mm. Mm. All right, yeah, let's defend like that. And we'll bring our bishop out. Maybe we'll cast along. Maybe we will checkmate. Maybe we will checkmate. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad to make the top three. All right, our queen's in a weird spot. She's had a, she's had a fun journey. Oh, I probably could have had check and take the pawn, but that's actually my own rule. I have a rule about that that I tell all my students. If any piece crosses this line, like the line in between these two arrows, just the middle line in the chessboard, uh, as soon as you've dealt with whatever threat it made, if any, kick it out. Play a6 or h6. Don't let them just like hang around there, you know? Cool. Yeah, send them. All right, this is a fork, but it's not a bad fork because we've got a pin. We just got to figure out what we want to do. All right, can I attack this pawn, but it's just bishop c4. Got a pin. Onto the queen, bishop c4. Maybe c6 was what I was thinking. Really? Oh, okay, but that, yeah, okay. He could have protected it, I guess he just didn't see that. <laughs> oh man, I'm not, I, he's not that old. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. All right, we got him with the fork. We got him, pin, pin. That rook has been abusing that pin on, down the D file. Let's go. Yummy bishop. Yum. What's for dinner? Bishops. We eat them. Yeah, we're all related. We actually all live in the same little chess house here. And each room is just in just each of our streaming setup so we can all stream at the same time. Nobody's ever discovered it, though.
All right. Boom. More pin. More pin with this file? Yes, please. Move the bishop. I want my pin back. Yes. More pin. I guess he has check. I didn't see that. <laughs> to check, I gotta go back here. We're, we're okay. I'm not losing it. But more pin. That rook has done a lot. Okay, this is protected against this. Finally, the queen got off of that. The gambit house. The gambit house on one gambit road in Gambitville, Gambia. Gambia, that's a country. Yeah. That's where we all live. Right, let's not lose our queen. Oh no, wait, am I gonna get pinned? No, we're C4. C4. Okay, I haven't really brought these out yet. I'd like to. Push this maybe. No, bishop c5. Something like this. Got like queen over in this way? Pin pin pin. Here. Block the pin. Can't have too many pins. Even fun to say. All right, hopefully eventually we'll get these out and I won't flag. Let's not flag. Okay, is that a Lee Chess link? You can guess, yeah, I don't, I don't have any moderation settings in the chat. I probably shouldn't have said that out loud, but that's true. All right, I'll check it out. I'll check it out after the arena. Thanks for sending. Yeah, I'll check it out. Always a pleasure to counter fellow Gambit Chads. All right, check. And that's almost me. What do we got? Check here. Check here, mate. Because we're using that bishop too. No, he's trying to block me. Check. And here. That'll be me. Got him. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yes, links will explode. All right, well, we're at the top of the arena. 100% Berserk. 100% win. 100% Gambit. Alright, I take viewer requests. I was requested to play a King's Gambit. So let's see. Ah. Oh. Brutal. Okay, it's a Von Popiel Gambit. It's a Von Popiel Gambit. We've transposed it. Now we're attacking. We got him with the Von Popiel. Transposition. Gambit glasses on. Queen takes f3. Three moved. Bishop attacked. Pawn attacked. Let's go. Let's go. What? It's almost like. Hmm? Hmm? You know what? I almost don't want to take it. I almost... I probably should have taken it. <laughs> I just... I don't know. wasn't feeling it. Alright. Let's take and go d5 and, and blow it up. The Cormorant. How would I rate the Jerome Gambit? Ooh. Good question. Wait. I have a video to send on this topic. Here. Aha. This 
probably be a better link. I had a Jerome Gambit Arena where where it was the only thing I played. I only Jeromed every single game. This was my idea with the check. I lured the queen onto this file, and then we came back, and then we hit him with rookie one to win the queen. Oh my goodness, king d7. Almost makes me not want to take your queen. Okay. Yeah, the Cormorant Gambit. I gotta try out the Cormorant. I, I haven't yet, unfortunately. I think our knight in there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure it provides a ton of compensation. But, um, it's interesting and funny. That's all we can really go for, can't, isn't it? It's just a little dumb prank I was setting up. Assume Cormorant is his real name. All right. Mm -mm. Person thinks they can flag me. Stupid slow. Stupid slow. All right, I think I think we're up a bit of material. There we go. <laughs> what are the ideas there? Do you take on b6? <coughs> or do you just play like nice c6? But anyway, we're at the top of the arena. Perfect arena challenge going well. Okay, I promised a king's gambit. If you guys have any other requests, let me know. Hmm. Second straight Scandi I'm facing. Okay. I want to play... Can we get an AC6 here? There's an interesting gambit after an AC6, which is, I think, the main move here. What are you thinking a lot right now? I... Oh, pawn C6. Um, oh well. Okay, maybe next time. Maybe next time. It takes, takes, and takes in the Cormorant. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, well, c6 is typically to open up this retreat for the queen. Because in the Scandi, like, the queen, queen can get attacked a lot. Like, even on a5, you get hit with, like, bishop d2 and everything. So typically, like, c6 happens so that the queen can just come back. Here, how do I want to block? I don't know. All right, I'll play an c3. All right, well, we have just the bishop pair. So let's see what we want to do. So let's play... Okay, let's play an a4, trading off for this knight, because after castles I want to be able to maybe attack h7, but be able to make that happen. Alright, let's just play a useful move for e1, while we wait and see how to develop, based on whether castle long or castle short. Alright, this is a lot of delays of his castle. Can I hit you with queen g4? Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> I would have hung this rock. Okay. Now? Maybe? I don't know. It's, is he castling long or castling short? Okay, he is castling short. Let's just back this up, because knight f6, I assume, is coming. Okay, but our bishops are in good spots. I think we're ready to maybe come out. And hopefully try to make some threats over here on the king side. Right now we're threatening bishop takes h6. Just got defended against. Alright, let's 
swing this rook into the game, hopefully. Put the bishop right there, seems like a good spot. Would defend d4 as well. What's up, Einstein one? My experience, not many players will accept. Yeah, I guess on d4, c5, I mean, the best move, as I understand it, is d5, right? Okay, bishop here looks very good. Very, very good. And I think eventually we want to maybe take that knight and deliver a checkmate threat on h7. I guess g6 at the moment, I mean, it doesn't do a whole lot. But if, like, the rook were there, then there would be, like, rook takes g6 or something. So, we've got ideas. c5, okay. Yeah, he does go for c5. I could push d5. Or I could just take it. Yeah, I guess just takes. The queen takes. Rook in. Oh, this pawn I probably could have just taken. I don't think there was any... Oh, well, my bishop's hanging, actually. My bishop is hanging. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're going to back it up. So we got attacked. Now... What's my next idea? I want to play h4, h5. Swap on f6. Go queen e4. So that there's no g6, and then I'm going to want a queen h7 at some moment. Okay, or or maybe none of that, and we're just trading. Okay. I guess we just have a solid bishop pair. My opponent's quite good for their rating, I mean. Alright, we're just going to pick up the pace here. I think my position's pretty nice, but... Gotta be faster. Yeah, king here, let's just swap off the rooks, and I probably will win this with the bishop pair in the end game and some weak pawns. Gambit wise, by the way, I just saw. Thank you for the follow. I have f4, f5 ideas. Or, I mean, just g6. Probably doesn't generate a whole lot. Was very possible, of course. Yeah, f4, f5. Just trying to open up something where my rooks are. I'm spending a lot of time here. My bishops, like... Okay, they just do nothing. I mean, my bishops control these squares. There's no invasion for the rooks. Because my bishops are... So well posted. Mm. All right, f5. Here it comes. And the g8, I don't understand this move. Even play bishop a5, if I want to keep away rook d2, I mean, I guess that's that he really wanted to get rid of this dark square bishop, right? But it was not meant to be. Oops, oops, that bishop was still here. <laughs> That's why I kept it. That's why I kept it. All right. GG's. GG's, my guy. Go, pawn, go. Go, pawn, go. Okay. Right, that's not necessary. Go pawn go. Hero pawn. Nice. We got him. Okay. But that was a long game, but we're still atop the arena. 100% win, 100% berserk. We are on track. We are on track. Okay. Who will challenge us? The hardest mate in two puzzle.
You'll have to send me the link. Okay, Cormorant Gambit. <laughs> I was challenged to... Oh. It got declined. Okay, I'll give him another chance. No, it got declined again. Hmm. How about another, another chance? Take it now, and I'll recapture. Oh, this person's no fun. <laughs> okay, I tried. I tried. All right. Well, instead we just have some boring normal position. Sorry about that one, folks. Go on a link to the video or a screenshot of the actual puzzle. I meant a link to the puzzle, but yeah, or a screenshot of the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, I want to try the puzzle. This pawn here kind of sucks. I shouldn't have recaptured with a pawn. Mm. Hopefully take, take, queen takes. And then bishop h2, check. Boom. That's a good move. Um, okay. Yeah, my opponent's got this blockaded quite well. Yeah, White's played well here. They're 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 definitely better. They're definitely just better. This away. Let's get a ruck in. Do something. How are we going to win this game eventually, though? That's the issue. <laughs> okay. I guess, yeah, they're able to swap that knight for my bishop, which was not a trade that I wanted. Dark square bishop could have been useful. Oh, and I didn't see this move. Okay. This pin. Oh, I didn't see this either. E5. Bishop E5. E8. Take. E take. Man, I can't get away with that. So I need that. Kind of ugly. All right. Yeah, I lost this pawn too. Yeah, this this one did not go well. Yeah, so if takes, I probably need to play like d4 just to sacrifice and free myself. Otherwise, I could free myself with like queen e6, getting out of this pin and attacking the bishop. Okay. Oh my goodness, this knight. What am I doing? Throw this in. Yeah, this was quite the disaster on my part. Running an H six check. Got takes and mate. Yeah, not a good one. Aha, <coughs> uh -huh, JK, unless I miss this. Go back, check. Over. Yeah, what? How does white finish this actually? 
Like, I should be lost. Probably, like, here, right? And then I go queen over. Trying to get back here. The issue they have is F2's attacked. And weirdly difficult to defend. I'm young Norwegian guy. Thank you for the follow. I need D3. Wait a second. Wait. We're gonna win? <laughs> no way. <laughs> no, I, oh, I couldn't I could have even taken here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we did it. We did it. What? The dream is kept alive. Perfect arena on the table. We're still at 100% win and 100% berserk. We are still at it. Let's go. Out of 268 people in this arena. Let's go. Okay, okay. Oh. I got so lucky there. I was like, my position was just like resignable. Like I played really well until he blundered me. All right, 21, 21. We got a berserk. Okay, we need to go back to all reliable here. Bush, gas, gambit. Take it. Take it. Plus three. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have a real bush gas on the board. Oh, he didn't want F7? Okay. Well, still, this transposes into a very, very strong Stafford, where F2's hit, asks Queen H4, hit H2, hit F2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh, what's up, Andrea Shagan? How are you doing? How are you doing? We are on the verge of getting him here. Let's go with we can take F two with the bishop or the knight. Let's go with the knight. Can I play against one of your friends? Well, tell your friend to join the arena. We are in the middle. Of an arena. And trying to get a perfect arena. So basically this. This line here. I mean this is a classic Stafford trick. But basically white doesn't have the knight on f3. To defend like all these squares. And we hit f2. They castle queen h4. And then h2 and f2 are just both hit. Too many times. And then the key m move here. The finishing touch. Bishop g4. Gg. Bishop g4. Well, let's go. H takes g4, queen h4 is mate. The bishop will control the square. And for that same reason, queen takes g4, queen g1 is mate. So, an all prep victory. The gambit man can. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, he didn't go for the main line of taking f7. You gotta go for that. Okay. Oh, we got a counter berserk. Okay. I promise the king's gambit. I will keep trying. Until... Oh. It's time to try a von Hennig gambit. A von Hennig gambit against the Karo. Okay. We've got a full gambiting repertoire here. Okay, we wait till d takes e4. And then we put our bishop there. We're eyeing that pawn. We're keeping a... Watchful eye on that. Let's castle. Keep some more watchful eyes. Here we go in the G5. Okay, and we've got the critical line on the board. This new bishop takes E6 sacrifice. The new sacrifice, yes. So he needs, so Black's done everything right. Black's done everything right. Because um, we threatened, oh, H6 is a really, that's like the engine move. Wow. That's a really good find. Okay. Okay, okay. So... Hmm. H6 as a find... Like, like it's so rare. There's like 600-something games, and there's like 9 with H6. But okay. It's okay anyway. It will we'll be okay anyway. We're going to put our bishop on E5. We're down a piece. <laughs> down a piece. But we're going to put our bishop here on E5, right? We're going to play... Knight e4. 
All right, bishop in. We're going to play... Mm, mm. All right, do I have compensation for this? <laughs> That's kind of the issue. How do we want to do this? All right, Erky one. Get all our pieces into the game. Okay, we're down a piece for a pawn. I have a little bit of compensation for it. I have a little bit. This, I think, is like infinite checks. I don't know if he wants to decline my draw. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now, next step in the evil plan will be revealed in a second. D5. All right, just got to open more things. We just got to open more things. You just got to come after this king really quickly before he's able to like bring everything in and consolidate, you know? Like, I want like work F7, mate. That's the goal. So like takes, knight takes. Oh, okay. Playing rook G8 just to attack this. Mm, what can we attack though? Maybe this knight? And this pawn? Just he's just like cuddling around his king like that. All right, we're attacking this many times. Mm, okay, we've gotten no two pawns. We're at two pawns for for our piece. Um, that's more than one. Let's get king out of here. Just out of trouble. <laughs> Sorry, just out of trouble. All right, next we want to maybe go around the back. Yeah, that's my okay. He doesn't have rook f7, so he's predicted the seventh rank really well. But let me sneak, sneak back there. Just a little sneak attack. Here and mate. You get attack. Whoa, take my queen, that's me. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. What a move, rook here. Because otherwise rook f7 just trades everything. But we got rook there. Okay, queen takes. I think he had to take it, but now queen h8 is coming. Okay, wait. How do I get him? Check. Check. That would be me. So he goes... There. Okay, the king's on the run. The king is on the run. We need to catch him. We need to catch him. Oh, no. That's not actually a good idea. Oh, wait, my rook was just hanging. What am I doing? Okay, wait, but I can get that rook. Oh, no, I don't want to trade queens. Oh, God. oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, I have three pawns, though. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Okay, wow, what a game. What a game. What a battle there. I, okay, I must have had him when that king was on the run, but I hung my rook, or like almost hung my rook. And our dream is alive. Seven down, seven berserk, seven wins. Okay. I'm still trying for the king's gambit. I was request. okay. We got a French. But here's our new French gambit. We're von populing, von populacizing the French. We allow, what is this move, knight e7? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, knight here? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, Chief. 
don't know about that one. Knight e7, knight f5. It's like interesting. I don't know, the knight's here. It's it's a good knight. Oh, he's getting b2. He really wants b2. Okay. Mm. Take Brook over. Okay, Mikhail Vin. Okay. I can play him after. You can play him after the arena. Okay, I have a sneaky idea. If they takes d4. You didn't want it. Okay. I have Nate d4 check. Okay, Queen G. Uh. Hmm. Okay, let's castle. I'll sacrifice this one. He took it like that. Oh my goodness, I forgot I berserked. It's so long time. Okay. Yeah, I don't I just had to make something happen. Ah, I'm not happy with the way I played this. There's F5 here, right? It pins me. I don't know what I was doing this game. E5 also the move. Yeah, it's a guard knight of three. I have your check and takes. I got, it's a few pieces for the queen. And try it like this. Okay, I will play McKelvin after. All right, he's got queen g4 though. Good. Oh, what? He gave the queen. Wow, okay. Rook in. Okay, wait, we gotta be fast. Because this, now I'm actually winning. I don't know why he gave the queen. I should have gone rookie seven. Rookie seven would have been smart. Okay. Oh, take c2, I'll go queen c4. Got a pin this way in addition to hitting the bishop. Bishop moves, then rookie seven. You can defend it there though. Swing the other rook over. Take this. Okay. Uh, Alright, but now what? That's the question. What do I do now? Position's quite solid. All right, well, obviously I'd love to take the pawn, but this rook should, yeah, I'm gonna hide back on f7, I guess. Mm. Need to generate something. Put that here. Around the back. I mean, like, imagine my queen on h8 right now. In h8, we can get that pawn. So that's why I ran that h pawn all the way to h6. Oh, I'm winning something. I'm winning. Oh no, wait, I'm not. He's king of five. Oh, but he didn't see it. Uh. Oh. Not what I expected his pre move to be. Oh! Ho ho! Ho ho ho! 
Oh yes! Oh yes! Let's go! Oh my goodness! We got him again. We got him again on the edge of defeat. We snatched another victory from the edge of defeat. And wow, it's absolutely magical. This is the most magical run. We are. Ooh, let me zoom in a little bit more. Eight. A hundred percent win. Mmm. A hundred percent berserk. 100% yummy chips. Let's go. <laughs> wow, we got that bag out of nowhere. Out of absolutely nowhere. And the perfect arena dream is so close. We are so close. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Einstein. We got hit with a Danish. Okay, wait. It's time to play a hammer gambit. It's time to put the hammer down. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Wait, I wanted a hammer gambit. Give me a hammer. Take, take. Oh no, this was not a good idea. <laughs> what a terrible idea. I tried to play a hammer gambit. Okay. Well, we're gonna play. Okay. We're not losing. Okay, the hammer gambit is when they take. Voice over there. Andres Hagen, Mikhail Vin, thank you for the follows. I will be playing you after after this arena. Oh, Nate G5 was there. I don't know what my plan was against it, honestly. Mm. Got it. We're okay, we're okay. Just here. We're okay, don't get me, you didn't play knife 6 next, right? Doesn't he G5 or something? Knife 6, check, something weird like this? But we're good. We're good. Hammer Gambit's not getting defeated so easily. Mm. Okay. We're good, we're gonna be driving him back in a moment. And then we're gonna go on the offensive. Boom. Bishop d7, I guess, was also possible. I don't know why. Why not? Then maybe it would have given my knight some flexibility. But, okay. Looking good. We've freed ourselves. Sweet freedom for my pieces. Alright, so this bishop's gonna go here, and I'm gonna... Oh, he took it. Okay, but I'm kind of happy to get rid of that light square bishop. I feel like it was causing me some problems. You're really going to give me that pawn? Okay, well, actually, there's two things he's giving me in this position. I don't know about that one, chief. All right, and the other thing was taking that. But he wanted to gambit this. Alright, let's try and castle. Let's get out of here. I might have been trying my luck by taking that pawn. But hopefully we're good. Just gonna run away. Or I can run away the other way. Lots of running away is C4, C5. Okay, let's take away Queen D5 check. And position is very solid. We have totally weaseled our way out of this. The hammer gambit's just OP. It's just OP. Alright, C65, here we go. Let's roll. Let's roll with these pawns. We got nice bishops, we got a safe king, good rooks, everything active, everything good, everything defended. Everything looking good in our position, here we go. Oh, nice C5. Probably could've Let's see if I have hits here. So we, okay, we trade. Play rook f five to protect this. I didn't really want to make that trade. I kind of like my dark square bishop actually. Whoa. Rook g five, rook h four, queen h six. All right, fine. You want to take this so badly? You really wanted to drive my rook away. Oh no. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, wait. Oh, it's still bad. It's still bad. Okay, wait. There was queen b8. It was like mate. It was like mate no matter what I did. I couldn't have risked him finding that. Okay. <laughs> oh no. We've got to flag him. We've got to flag him. We've got to flag him. I literally blundered like mate in two. I literally blundered mate in two. Flag, flag, flag. Got here. Don't get mated. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. Okay. The mate I blundered was here. It was queen b8. And the bishop controls this. That Like, like, like that's just mate. Like, rook here, they just takes it. But he didn't find it, so takes. But there's no re like takes. He is still as this. Rook takes. He still has check. King up. That's mate. So, oh my goodness. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. It's the magical run. It's too magical. <laughs> I've been pushing my luck even more and more and more each game. Like it's like looked like oh now I'm totally lost. Now I must be totally lost. There's no way he comes back from this. I literally hang mate. I literally hang mate for multiple moves. And we still get away with it. <laughs> I don't know, like, like, how close am I going to come this time? Okay, I'll play him after, I'll play him after the arena. You see how much time there is left in the arena. Hmm? Okay. Okay, we probably have one more game. One more game to complete the perfect run. 100% win. 100% berserk. Bush gas gambit time. Gotta go back to it. Mm. Take it here. Take it here. It's plus three. It's plus three. I'm gonna shut the door with that. Was that a clicking sound I heard? Oh my goodness, it was a clicking sound for a different capture. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wow. A crazy new gambit against my bush gas. Okay. A new gambit. Probably king f8 was safest. Alright, he hit me with the new gambit against my bush gas. <laughs> I was excited when I heard a capture. I thought it was the line that's plus three. But instead he played a line that's like minus three. Alright, this would almost be like a... Like a classic Stafford kind of attack, but... Uh, not, not quite. Alright, let's run our king this way. Get safe let's try to get safe and then we'll just be up a piece for two pawns oh my goodness i didn't see this this is check winning my queen that's not good okay okay well it was a counter gambit it was a counter gambit and now we're actually down one pawn and now we get to put on the gambit glasses baby we're actually down one pawn. Maybe I actually do have some compensation. Oh, he's trying to sacrifice back the pawn. I could give my rook. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to open this f-file. Like, it's got too many tasty targets. Too many tasty targets. So let's deny that trade here, and instead let's checkmate you on h2. Let's checkmate you on h2. So h3, I would have bishop takes h3 probably. He's got to probably play g3 and then queen up. And then, and then maybe I will checkmate you here. If only I had a knight. 
Nate G4 is the is the best way to just finish these. Uh hmm. Alright, well rook h6 would finish it. Rook h6 looking good, but f3 could defend. So not super clear. F3 could defend this way. We've got rookie one, h6, f3. Or All right, how can I finish the game here? Don't know. <laughs> We're also down a ton of time again. Things look bleak once more. They look bleak once more. Before. Rook over. The king takes now. This is not really like I, I just I should have played this with h5 h4. What? Just check here. Oh no! I mean he's got to defend h2. Oh, can't trade. H5 h3 we're threatening maybe. And drive this knight. Away. I don't know, gotta be speedy though. Got to be speedy. I mean, it's just got rookie five. Like, I, I just went all out for mate and I just wasn't smart. All right, new ideas. Oh. Try and use the E file, but got just rookie five against anything. Eighty five. Okay, trap the rook, maybe. H six. How are we gonna save this one? Rook G. Oh my! I hung this. Rook g6 I have here, at least. Uh, uh, not looking good. Yeah, swaps queens, takes g7. Or takes g7 first. Swap the queens. g4. Yeah, I'm just down two pawns here in this end game. I got nothing for it. All right, here's my one chance. Time. I need him to continue spending... Or G5, just... Ooh. I need him to continue spending lots and lots of time. <laughs> ooh, that forces a trade of rooks. Right, well, I mean, you put all the pawns on dark squares, it kind of just stopped their progress. Oh man, I'll lose this. And we save this. Oh my goodness. We stop that one. No. <laughs> oh 
Well, at least we drew. At least we drew. Okay. And, and actually, never mind, that game never happened. That game ended too late to count. <laughs> it ended too late to count for the arena. So my actual final stats from this arena are nine games played, 100% win, 100% berserk. We did it. We did it. Say hi to YouTube, everyone. Say hi to YouTube, all my friends. Let's go. Let's go. Like and subscribe. Tell all your YouTube friends to subscribe. We did it. We came back so many times and we got them. <laughs>